Welcome back kids to Drama Tuesdays. This should give you an idea of how little is actually going on in my life because I'm invested in Twitter beef between Logan Paul and Tommy in it. So what happened was Tommy in it tweeted this, right, I'm done. And it's a picture of Logan Paul promoting Prime during the Gaza conflict of his podcast. And this got 305,000 likes on Twitter. That is ridiculous, 305,000 likes. This was the part of the, this is the thing, right? There's so many sections in this podcast he could have promoted it in. Like so many, like Trump's advice for people. Why not just, why not just put it in that part of the podcast, the prime plug? But no, it had to be a part, it had to be the Gaza conflict. Now, I don't know if it's because he was just like, people actually care what Trump has to say in this part of this, or if it was just because he just didn't think about it at all. Either way, it's not a good look. So basically Tommy and it called him out for that. And they've been mates before. They've done vlogs. They've done podcasts and stuff. These are two big fucking YouTube. YouTubers. like Tommy and is like almost 20 million or 15 million Logan Paul's obviously massive and so I saw this and I was like why is nobody talking about this I am I've got nothing good going on in my life so why don't I talk about it and then Logan Paul replied that offline glaze though and he has some screenshots of some private DMs between the two of them where Tommy and it goes destroy him Logan you have Tommy and it's full faith that was incredible probably talk about one of his fights Tommy and it goes, I mean, Logan goes, thank you, boss. And then Tommy and it goes, hey, Logan, hope you're well post-fight. It was fucking awesome to watch, man. I'm just wondering if you'd be around soon for a call. I'd really love to learn some more from you and ask you some questions. Just ghosted. <laughs> New video was fucking awesome. And then Logan Paul responds, hey, thank you, G. Honestly, I reckon Logan Paul loves validation. Something about like, not even just these text messages, something about this guy. I don't know. I just feel like he loves external validation. I feel like, I just, I don't know if that's true or not, but I, I mean, it, rings true because of these texts but i just feel like it is something that is with him it's weird anyway tommy in it replied i didn't expect this i didn't respect logan to reply i didn't expect tommy to reply i didn't expect them to beef one of them is like 30 and one of them is 20 it's like 10 year difference and they were mates he said if this is a cold line these are bars if the same week i had a daughter i also lost a beef to tommy in it i would kill myself who tommy in it coming with the heat man just when you think they were friends they come in with the heat. 250,000 likes on that like on that post. And Tommy and it got, well, uh, Logan got 4,000 on his. So getting getting out uh, out liked big time. Then, then Logan res responds, Tommy is lashing out because I've been neglecting him. Sorry, I didn't chill with you, buddy. Let's see, what happened? You in England at the moment, says Tommy. Yes, sir, says Logan. Oh, awesome, how long? Leaving tomorrow, big dog. Dam's gonna ask if you wanted to get a coffee. Next time, boss, for sure. So we'd love to get your advice on some stuff, really, sometime. I've been following pretty closely what you said last year. Now I wanna know what Logan said to Tommy in it. Hell yeah, boss, I got you. Thank you, man. When would you be about? And this was only last year. Um, hello, congrats on the engagement, Logan. This still doesn't advance the availability, availability question. Just gets ghosted. New video is fucking awesome. Congrats, big guy. And then he responds as soon as he's getting praise again. Thank you, boss. Sorry, being mad busy. Can we call this week, Logan? What up, boss? Busy ass week. Uh, that's all right. Got some time Monday. Yeah, hit me next week. Let's figure out a time. Thanks, mate. Excited. Chat to yours. Uh, thanks, mate. Excited. Uh, let me know, big man, about the few next few days. Sub G, I should be around as well. Awesome. How's later today? ghosted next day he says low gang ghosted sorry tommy you've been busier than i thought lad it's okay you have my forgiveness you about for 20 minutes for ladder uh 20 minutes for now after not responding and he just replies with a down de down thumbs down reaction i i understand <laughs> that is a heartbreaking when somebody reacts to your message with a down arrow and then you just say i understand i almost feel bad for tommy in it man it's like a girl that has no interest in you whatsoever my guy just wants to learn from wise Logan Paul. He's full of just knowledge and wisdom. Logan, I don't know if the timing would line up, but if we coincide states while I'm on tour, I'd love to do a funny stream together. Yeah, that could be funny, boss. Oh, hell yeah. Are you near any of these when I'm them? Shit, doesn't... Uh, shit, I'm 100% no, sure, boss. It doesn't look like any of these dates are March. Okay, what about April? And then that's where it's at. So Logan Paul roasted Tommy in it, who's like 10 years younger than him, for lashing out because he's been neglecting him. God... Logan Paul is so childish. You'd think once you have a kid and you're a father and you're 29, you don't beef with somebody who's 10 years younger than you, essentially, who you used to be friends with on the internet. I just... I mean, I guess Tommy did call him out, but Logan is just a scumbag. Like, he shouldn't have done that in the first place and he wouldn't have got the backlash. I don't know. It's just... I don't know why he even responded. Like, surely Logan Paul gets enough hate that he, he shouldn't respond. He would learn, like, not to respond because it only does bad things for him. Tommy Nick goes, why do you keep posting private messages of me being kind to you? Are you stupid? I guess 366,000 likes. Damn. The whole, the whole world's watching this one on, on Bluebird, on X, I should say, on Black Cross. Because you beg me for attention offline, then run to Twitter when I don't acknowledge you. Another fake internet kid. Oh, he's such, 
he's just such a fucking oh he's so dislikable you beg me for attention offline then run to twitter when i don't acknowledge you another fake internet kid damn a fake internet <laughs> look at this reply Look at the one guy that's allowed to reply to Logan's tweets. Oh my god, bro. And Tommy in it replies, wow, you caught me red-handed. And uh, yeah, everyone in the replies is just pretty much cooking Logan Paul because, I mean, it's just the age thing as well. Like, it's crazy. Oh my god. And so that was that. I just didn't expect that at all. I haven't seen anybody talk about that. I was so confused when I read that whole thread. I was just like, where did this even come from? Weren't they friends? And I also have an update on KSI versus Dan TDM while we're on the beef, because I did talk about this on this channel. KSI has been getting so much hate from every angle. His song sucks. I mean, I love it personally. I'm the biggest fan of everything he does, um, especially Lunchly. And then he goes, these stupid fans uh, leaving trash comments on my new song think they're getting to me. You're not. It's not funny. It's boring. You're wasting your time. He tweeted this. <laughs> When you, if you've grown up on the internet, surely like KSI has, and you're 31 years old, surely you realize that this is not going to do anything on a toxic platform like Twitter. And so I feel like he does know this. And so he's just baiting. He's just baiting interactions because he also did this. He put this on his Instagram story the day after. Imagine spending so much time and effort into making a song for people to then repeatedly take the piss out of it online. I get it's trendy to hate on me right now, but can, can we like move on? Surely somebody who's grown up on the internet, is 31 years old, has the like understands that this will do nothing. You obviously know this will do nothing. People love memeing on the internet and just dunking on people. It's just a thing that happens and you've been around for long enough, which makes me think he knows and it's all bait. It's, I reckon this is all just bait to keep people talking about, God, that voice break, to keep people talking about the new song. And it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty genius, can't lie. I also reckon it's, I reckon it's um, Logan Paul whispering him in his ear, look man, like, just take the hate and just roll with it. Keep baiting them. That's what happened to me, man. Like, everyone hates me, but they're still talking about me. I'm still getting paid at the end of the day. Be like me, man. I reckon that's what he's saying to him. And so um, I, 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 can, I can see that happening. And then we got a response from Dan TDM. He made that one tweet where he was like, what happened to YouTubers, man? You know, selling garbage to kids just for money. And he, uh, he, he followed up finally, and he just made a second tweet, living the dream. That's just a picture of him with his kid, taking him to, on activities and whatnot. And it just got, ab it did absolutely, it's been 14 hours and it's at 400,000 likes. My guy's living his best life. That's the dream, baby. So yeah, now nothing happening in Perth. So I just thought I would um, go through that because I need to entertainment and beef is sometimes interesting. And these are all massive creators and I'm incredibly upset. Right, peace out. Thank you.